Hey guys, what's up? My name is Josh. If you're just joining the channel and welcome to this project. It's going to be amazing. This is the first step of several steps in upgrades for this Clipper PA16 1949. Today, we're going to get the wings off. We're going to get them cut open, do the initial inspection, see and make sure there's no big surprises. These wings have been covered for a little over 40 years. You never really know what you got until everything's open. My neighbor and a couple of his boys coming over here soon to actually help me move both wings off, put them down on the wing racks, have them positioned where we can actually start cutting them open and see what we got. So we got a lot to do, let's get to it. All right, so we got to disconnect the ailerons inside as well. Cover there in the headliner, and we'll disconnect those for both wings. We just take the cable and just kind of roll them up there in the fuselage. Strut bolts, the spar attach bolts to get both of those. and when those pull out they won't go anywhere anyways yep so we need to get the punch through these i have the nuts off of them okay so the, there's some punches okay and my baby hammer okay all right here we go it hold up on that end so it doesn't Okay. okay, so I believe this right here will pull right out. There's no wires, no fuel line. I just got okay. one. All right, so. Should we? Okay, are we taking these braces out first? Or yeah, you? we have to, yeah. So okay. what we're gonna do is we need two people to uh, hold up on the end of the wing. Mm -hmm. It's not heavy, but it's just gonna pivot on there. And then uh, we're gonna remove these, just lay them off to the side. If, should Jason and I be like this and then James helps you pull pins? Yeah. Yep, that works. So why don't you go... Yep. So where this right here is? Right. So you can just kind of hold like right in here in parallel with this. Okay. So right there. And then you want to hold in parallel with this. That's the support. Yeah. Like right there. Okay. Rather than out on the edge? Yes. You want to be in here. This is where the meat is right there. Okay. Yep. So what I have you do is pull these pins. I want to go ahead and pull the bolt down here. Should we mind to lift up on the wing a little bit? There we go, right there, that's good, right there. If you pull it, then you hold it for a little bit. Okay, you can pull the pin out. Right. Have to move the wing a little bit. Pull it straight out. You should. There you got it. Yep, okay, you got the wing. So this right here is gonna knock down. There it is. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take this out of the way here. It's fine, you don't need to hold it. It's Come on. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Okay. Now, let's see what this bolt needs. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna swing it out. 
-hmm. And then just mm -hmm. like that. Okay, I'm gonna go and pull the first one out. And don't put push like right in here if you can reach. Yeah, right there. See where that's right here? Just one hand right there is fine. Yep. Okay. Now, this other one out. Oh, oh shoot. Come on. Oh, what's it need? Okay, right there. Lift up on the outside. Very good. Okay. Okay, let me turn around. Okay. Hmm. That is light. It's very light. All right, then we want to make sure nothing's sticking down. Yep, so this is for a wing tank. They just never put it in. So, so, so that gives you, what are they, five gallons? 18. 18 gallons a piece? Mm hmm Really? Yep, 36 gallons. So it's the full, full depth and so does it go back here? For right here. Just that? Yep. Wow. That's it, first time the Clippers had no wing for me. All right, good deal. So okay. now we know kind of what to do, it'll be easier. Yep. I'm gonna move this wing out of the way a little bit. All right, so now we're getting to the fun part. Jason, do you want to do the honors? Do you want to do the first uh, cut and the wing? So what we want to do here, just to kind of take a look inside, um, in between the ribs here, we can uh, just kind of cut like a suction and then we can kind of rip it open a little bit to cut a few little holes in it. <laughs> so just kind of stay close to the metal. We don't want to get anything there on the side, so. Oh man, doesn't that sound so good? <laughs> or painful. That's good. All right, cut another one and then we'll peel it back. All right, let's see what we got inside here. Okay, oh, yeah. there we go. So right here, look how rusty this is. No that's, the, that's the aileron attach fitting right there. So all this stuff that's rusty and anything that might have some corrosion on it will get completely cleaned or perhaps replaced if it's too pitted, but this actually doesn't look too bad. That's actually got like a red primer on it. Um, but one thing when I bought this plane, what I could see is the spars, they looked really good. There's no like a bunch of dots or like corrosion or anything deep. The corrosion that's on there, it's just a really fine, it's almost like a shot peen finish. It's just a, it's actually really impressive. These are 1949. And see the silver there? So that's the UV protectant. Okay. Um, before you paint. And this fabric actually is pretty solid. It's just there was a lot of spots that was kind of questionable and I just, I don't want anything that's questionable, so. All right, well, let's open up another one. You want to cut one open or? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, just kind of like he did there in the middle. Yeah, this is fine. Yep. There you go, you can go back the other way a little harder. There you go. Just go up to about right here and stop and pull the rest back because we got that spar there. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, so that's supposed to be there. That's a little race spot for the aileron pass through for the cable. That's just kind of, let's build up it. But it did scare me for a second though. <laughs> so, and these brackets, again, it doesn't look like it's deep pitted. Here on the very end, one that goes to the aileron itself, that's the worst shape. So that one we'll have to clean up a little, get a better look at it. But the rest of the stuff inside the wing, one concern I had was the, um, the spar attached fittings here, because a lot of times those get pretty pitty. Um, but they actually look pretty good. Um, yeah, when I can see, you know, this stuff right here, nothing's real deep as far as corrosion. I mean, it's obviously a little bit. Cut another one here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, just light, light surface stuff. With a partial bird nest. This is just to hold these things together? Yeah, so this is a rib stitching. Okay. So when you put the fabric on and basically get it in place and kind of tack it up in place, then you go through and you um, take a big long needle and you, oh. you pre um, basically put the holes in, you measure everything, mm -hmm. and then you use a light behind it and you basically just go back and forth and there's a combination of different knots you can use. Holds your fabric on? It holds it on, yeah, from flapping on, yep. Got it. Yeah, let's do this one right here. Just in between, just. That's tape is what that is. It has some extra fabric there. Okay. Yeah, it's nothing deep, but this is probably aluminum or what is it? It's aluminum, extruded yeah. aluminum. Yeah. Yeah. But my main concern was for for this was not so much the spars because I could see most of that, mm -hmm. but was these fittings in here yeah. to see if I was going to have to you know if those are really pitted, especially these on the spar attached because those are costly and but these look super super nice. I mean, there's like no pitting at all. Picture that. Yep. Yeah, just stay above right here. That's yep. good. Okay. Some more bird stuff, but nothing too crazy. Okay. So out here, see where it's kind of spotty a little bit right there? That right there though, see that white on the top? Mm -hmm. That right there, I believe, is the start of a little bit of corrosion. Yeah, see, it's kind of white powdery. Let's see if we can get that focus there. Yep. Yeah, you can see it in the white spreading, but it's coming right off. It's not like inner grain layer or anything. It's, it's just right there. So Scotch Bright is going to clean that right up. So we'll cut this one, and then there's a little thin one here. We'll cut that one open too. It's like arts and crafts, man. Okay, good. From what I'm seeing here on this aileron bay though, I don't see much cracks or anything. This actually looks pretty solid, which is awesome because I don't want to have to make one of those. Okay. Oh yeah, and there's a lot of different things on it, yeah, in here. Okay, so out here is newer fabric. You can see the difference. So I forgot what year this was done, but this wingtip, this is not original. It's normally just a wood wingtip bow. So they actually cut this spar back here. It used to go out more of a taper. So this spar was actually cut and then they put this droop tip on it, which actually extended farther than it was originally, but it just had to get that new curve to start farther back. So, but yeah, you can see this. Thick and I, I think this is probably like 90s or somewhere around there. I mean, that's a big difference. This looks like brand new. <laughs> you gonna talk today? Hmm, you gonna talk to us? Okay, so it's been just a few days since I removed both these wings with my neighbor, John, his boys, Jason, and James. So we're gonna remove the rest of the fabric, take a look at everything all the way throughout the wing, and I wanna remove the wing tip along with the fuel tank cover. Unfortunately, a lot of times in there you'll have corrosion in between the tank and the spar. Hopefully that is not an issue. I'm feeling pretty good about it, but you never know. We got a lot to do and it's gonna be a good time. So let's get to it.
I decided to go ahead and start with the wing tip because it's just a nice size piece. It will look a lot different. So I did notice some corrosion here. It doesn't look too deep, but on this support here for the rib, you can see the white powder. It has some light corrosion there, but it's not intergranular or anything. It's not inside. Um, but also down here on the spar, it looks like it just surface, but um, it's gonna be in between probably these two pieces. So that's not good. Um, we're gonna have to, um, yeah, even here on the back of the spar, you can see, a little bit of corrosion going on there. Going around this way. I'm not sure what all this black is, but uh, probably some type of some animal bugs. Uh, but I don't see anything too too major. We'll see what the front of this bar looks like. We'll have to get the leading edge off and uh, confirm on that side. But um, down here, a little bit of light stuff there, um, a little bit of light corrosion there and on that bracket, really light stuff though. Alright, well I'll set the camera up and we'll dig out this nest of whatever it is. stuff here. I mean obviously birds carry paper so it's definitely the majority straw going on. Okay so the back of this leading edge looks pretty good which I'm not sure I'm going to use it because of all the hell damage looking ish dings all over it. But um, everything looks okay back here. I think we'll be in good shape, thankfully. We just got bird, bird stuff and some light corrosion which can be cleaned up.
like there's been some fuel stain down here behind the fuel tank, probably where it's went in between the wing panel and the tank and just kind of ran down, came under the spar here. I'm not seeing any bad corrosion or anything. Um, well, I shouldn't say anything. This end rib right here is got some bendage in it. I'll show you here in a second. Which I believe I'm gonna go with the Univer stamped rib like Clyde Smith is using on serial number one. Okay, so you'll see in here, this rib right here is bent and it's got a little crack and bend back there. You can see that. Um, yeah, just kind of a sad looking rib really. So we're gonna take that out and put a new one in. Nice sturdy stamped rib and be in good shape. Here's years of just grit, a few bugs, a few rivet tails. So this little guy right here is named after Kilo. Kila, it's only a couple months old. All right, let's cut a slot for this electrical. Well, if you see anything that perhaps I'm not seeing right now, drop that in the comments. I'd love to hear any feedback you might have. So. We're going to move over to the aileron, get it de-skinned, and then we'll do a full walk around and see what the big picture is. Somebody actually forgot to put the nut on the back of that support for the cross tube of the fuel tank. So if they actually forgot, chances are they did versus actually coming off. So it was probably hard to get to. So I'll need to disconnect the fuel lines to get the straps loose. 
and then I'll be able to pull that out and you kind of have to fish this tube through both of those ribs right there so it can be a little tricky. Again this leading edge is pretty gnarly looking. Over here it doesn't look too bad although it's got some bunch of extra holes there. I don't like that. But this leading edge out here definitely looks like it got hit by a hailstorm. We got a rib here that's got some bendage to it. We got Keegan down there hanging out on the uh, wing rack. So we got some more damage there on that one. That rib should be able to definitely fix those up pretty easily. Have a little bendage here. So if you notice here on the spar, it says 5-1749 was the date. If you look at the back of the sailor on, it says 5-1649. So the sailor on was put together a day before. Very impressive. Um, there was a steel bracket there it looks like. Got some rust there. I have to do a little bit of something with that, but really impressive how how good this aileron really looks. So that's a wrap for this video. Any questions, drop them below in the comments. Till next time, be safe, be blessed. I'll see you in the next one. Later.